So today's the day that I moved to London just for a little bit, but I thought I'd take you guys along with me. My flight's at 6 p.m. It's about almost 10 a.m. right now. I need to run to Target, finish up some packing. The one thing I came to Target for was some Sensodyne, and now we're good to go. Also got the pistachio cream cold brew, highly recommend. So I did in fact spill the cold brew all over my sweatshirt. So I'm gonna throw it in the wash because this is what I wanna wear to the airport. So I'm gonna wash my sweatshirt really quick, turn on the Man City game, and then finish packing everything. just after one o'clock and I'm heading to Foxtrot or I, I'm like right outside Foxtrot to pick up some airport snacks because I love their gummies especially and then I'm gonna say goodbye to one of my friends one last time and I guess get ready for the airport. It's 2.44 now, my Uber's on the way. I just really wanna like be on the plane and then I'll feel settled. I was feeling a little anxious but like fine at the same time. Made it through security and now I'm on my way to the gate. It's 4.23 now, the flight board's at 5.10 so I'm trying to sit here probably on my phone on TikTok or something until my flight boards. And then we're about to take off. I'm really excited to get to London, but I'm also very, very hungry. So I'm excited to see what they're serving for dinner. We're here. I made it to my place. It's about 9 40 right now and i booked a yoga class for 11 just to like stay up and at them and try and stay awake and all of that so i'm gonna unpack do all of that maybe shower i think i'll just wait till after yoga to shower um go to yoga do some grocery shopping and then figure things out I'm on my way to yoga. The sun is out. I'm so happy. I hope they have mats because I obviously don't have a mat. Um, yoga went so well. Loved it. I made a friend. She invited me to hack me on Friday. I also almost fell asleep at the end of yoga. So I'm, when I go grocery shopping, I'm also going to go get a coffee. Why did I pick the most expensive grocery store in town? I had to get out of that store before I spent more money. But I decided to get this mini open face sandwich as a snack before I found some real lunch. And I also did find a real grocery store. I think I'm going to go home and shower and like finish unpacking and then go out maybe get another coffee who knows get some real lunch find a real grocery store and then go from there wearing the sweater from jenny kane with my samba roses oh let me show you how i ended up organizing everything or unpacking so my jeans are hung my tees like my blouses my like short coats and then i just have my wool coat like that then i have my sweaters here random straightener and then this one i decided to do my sweats and pajamas up top towels already there so I like, didn't feel like moving them. My bags and then my shoes. I'm wearing a pair obviously but I feel like I actually underpacked. Like my suitcase was full but when I was unpacking I was like oh okay you have like five shirts and four sweaters. I don't know. I'll make some combos but maybe I'll find some cute clothes while I'm walking around today but I really want to find some slippers because these floors are cold. I just realized I didn't tell you guys why I'm here. It's not really a reason but I've always wanted to live in London or New York and I quit my job. Hello. So really exciting to say that I am doing content creation full time so I can put so much more time and effort back into like YouTube and TikTok and all of that. So I'm really excited about that. But back to London. Um, I always wanted to live in London or New and or New York, probably both at some point. And this opportunity came about to live in London. So I'm just taking it. Um, but since I don't have a visa, I won't be here for more than 90 days. So it's like a really short term stay, but I'm just like glad I'm doing it, putting myself out there, living life and seeing how things go. I also just decided that I'm not gonna grocery shop today because I want something to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna grocery shop tomorrow and explore the town more. But today I'm just gonna go like do some shopping around, bopping around, and then I have dinner reservations at 5.45. Also, I told my friends I'm gonna try and date in London. I've never like dated before because I wasn't allowed to in high school and then in college, like who dates in college? So, and I haven't dated post-grad either. Um, so I'm gonna try and put myself out there. But me putting myself out there is literally leaving the apartment. So we're going to see how this goes, but of course I'll keep you guys updated, especially on TikTok. I'll vlog, I'll get ready with me for my date, if that happens. I popped into Aveda because I'm trying to find someone to do my hair, like, Lord knows how hard that's going to be in another country. But, I mean, we are just 10 for 10. This girl, um, her name is Yasmin, she's amazing. She says you can do my hair, so I'm going to keep you guys updated on how it goes. I'm just, like, so happy to have found someone on day one. So I loved every piece of Reformation, but I only end up getting the tank. But now I'm gonna head home and start getting ready for dinner. I don't have much to do, but 
Might as well be early. Maybe you got a drink before and just like hang out. All right, outfit check for dinner. The top is from Source Unknown. Jeans are from Mango. Shoes are Vagabond Head of Booty. And then this necklace is um, Lizzie Fortunato. Bag is the Chloe Drew bag, but I got it from Rebag. All right, on the way to dinner, I'm headed to Gold. Happened to a pub, got a beer. Dinner's in like 10 minutes, I wanna say. Um, but so far, jet lag has not been bad. Feeling good, ready to eat. So dinner was delicious, it was so cute in there, and I wanted to order four dishes. I wanted the broccoli, the cauliflower, the sweet potatoes, and the meatballs. And my waiter was like, no, that's that's too many, just do two. I was like, okay, whatever, I'll start with two. No, he was right. Here are my leftovers still. I did get chocolate cake though. Skincare of the night. I usually use this Paula's Choice BHA in the morning, but time change is weird, so I used it tonight. And then the Walita Skin Food, absolutely holy grail, love it. So moisturizing, I look like a baby's face oil. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, and then the EOS body lotion. I could not risk not having this in London, so I bought it at Target in the US and then I brought it here. And then for my cleansing balm, like this is like the first step I did to take my makeup off, I used the Elemis cleansing balm. And that is about a wrap for the day. What time is it? 7, 8.25. I'm gonna edit this vlog, try and get it up tonight, and then just like go through emails because that's Eastern time and I'm definitely not on Eastern time still. But I'm thinking tomorrow maybe try a Soul Cycle class, definitely go grocery shopping. Maybe going to central London, I'm not really sure, but we'll see what happens.